What's up guys, it's uh, Steve here from Rackin' and Reelin'. Today's video is not just today's video. We're gonna be doing a series on cargo trailer. A couple of years ago, my wife and I, we decided for the family, we're gonna get ourselves an RV. Well, COVID happened and prices went boop through the roof. Plus uh, build quality we heard was garbage. So I said, hey, why don't we go out, find ourselves a used cargo trailer and we'll build it up to something just to get by just you know we can haul our bicycles kayaks whatever we needed to fishing poles gear um so i found this one on facebook marketplace um january of 2021 me and the kids uh brandon steven gavin and the fish whisperer katie we uh all together we went through this thing we stripped it down went from everything from the roof down to the tires insulation new windows everything you can imagine so um that's what these videos are all about um we'd appreciate it if you went ahead click that subscribe button hit the like button it's free for you to do that and it helps out the channel a lot so yeah thank you and keep watching <laughs> what's up youtube racking and reeling in here Time to do the floor on our 16 by 7 enclosed trailer. Went to uh, Lowe's, I believe we went. Picked up this sheet vinyl. Got it like really cheap. Clearance. Um, perfect, I believe. We're going to glue it down. It's awesome. Going to time lapse this. There's no reason, you know, it's a vinyl floor. Uh, thanks for watching. Click that subscribe button. Got a lot more to do on this trailer. Peace. Hey, what's up? In this video, we are gonna start putting bunks in. I already started framing out the bunks. I started framing out storage. The couch is gonna go up here with a bunk above it. It's gonna be storage with these totes, which I will put in there magically right now so so my plan here is I will give each person that comes with a tote that they could put their personals in for whether we're going for a weekend or two weeks we are planning on hitting the keys for two weeks we're not staying in this trailer the whole time but everybody can get a tote and it just makes things easy everybody knows where their stuff is they'll all get a shelf Back here is the toy hauling end of the trailer. It's gonna get bunks, those bunks, on these walls. This side over here is going to be the sink. And we've got a porter pot that's gonna pull out. Up here is gonna be the refrigerator. Like I said, a couch here that turns into my wife and I's bed with a bunk above it. Air conditioning unit's gonna go here. Keep watching, check out how it turns out. Thanks. Um, we did get, I did get these hinges, uh, eight inch heavy duty strap hinges, which we're gonna use. I framed everything out. 
uh, this is going to get a plywood. It's going to lay in here. Um, yeah, we're going to have a bunk here, a bunk down here, and up here, above, above the big bed up here, we're going to have another bunk up here. Uh, I guess you could say this is going to be a bunkhouse. So enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions. Put them down at the bottom. Yeah, that's enjoy all right so like i said earlier i got these eight inch heavy duty uh strap hinges had the uh the bunks already framed up for you because i didn't think anybody really wanted to see that we bought uh blow up mattresses that are going to fit in these with the um plywood on the the, the uh, air mattresses will fit in real nice so what i wanted to do with these and i'm sure they make them I wanted to have these hinges bend around the bottom to support more weight rather than just hanging, you know, just sitting on it flat. So we're gonna get this to bend down and around. And to do that, I think we're gonna use a uh, tabletop uh, bench vise, you know, like uh, the mafia used to use on heads. So I'll see you at, your, at the bench grinder. All right, so this is the funniest looking bench grinder I've ever seen. What I meant to say was tabletop bench vise. So we're gonna use this to bend this. And as you can see, I don't have it mounted to anything. But this stuff bends pretty good. Let's see if we can bend this. Alright, so I went in and made my second mark on the actual bunk. And we should be able to bend this now. You want to hold that? And there you have it bent hanger hinge that's what your mama's bed frame sounds like when i come over reek, 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 reek. all right so we're going to pre-drill our holes and then we're going to use these uh, akg one inch heavily threaded bolts to go in to hold the hinges on beautiful We'll have to flip this to get the bottom ones then so i'm going to go ahead and keep working on these so we went ahead and we bolted straight through the wall of the trailer on all three of these hinges they actually go through the whole wall and we bolted them real nice sealed off the outside laid some supports in here the end there so we'll on to that all right so we finally got all of the uh, hinges on I'm gonna use a grinder we're gonna grind the uh, bolts off that actually went all the way from the outside of the trailer all the way through got my cardboard here so it, when the sparks fly it doesn't mark up the walls and you know non-flammable cardboard right all right that should about do it for that next thing we're gonna go outside we're gonna cut our plywood paint it up throw it on here and we're not gonna bore you with that. We're gonna do it and I'll get back to you when we have it done. 
quick word of advice. Get some help. Makes things go a lot easier. All right, the bunks are in. The only thing I gotta do yet is I'm waiting for it to come in the mail. We're gonna clasp this onto this wall. Right now I just have them screwed there temporarily. But it'll get clamped over to the wall. And so on top of them, he's currently, can't see there, there you go, Velcroing air mattresses onto our bunk up top here. The wife in my bed, we have uh, some foam coming. But for these, we decided we're gonna go with these. We found them really inexpensive. I think at Walmart, they were what, seven bucks on sale that time. Um, so yeah, these can be, the air can be let out, especially on these back here. What'll happen is the air can get let out so that they can get put up against into the wall. So thanks for watching our uh, bunk installation video. Racking and railing.